Real Life Street Stars. We in here with Hillside Wade and Trev T. Man, what's good with you, bro? Wine with Sam, man. You already what's know who the fuck it is. Hillside Wade, Segedra Wade. Hillside Mafia shit. Hey, man. For those deaf, dumb, stupid, but living under a rock. First of all, tell them how long you been doing this thing in rap and where you coming from. Man, I've been doing this shit since junior high. I'm going to say about seventh grade. Shout out to my big bro, Ira Wade. That nigga the one taught me how to rap. And, man, I'm from Homer, Louisiana. H-O-M-E-R, Homer, Louisiana. You heard me? Hillside. Hillside, man. Um, Hillside, man. Explain what Hillside is. Is that a, is that a group? Is that a, is that a clique? Well, is that coming what? from Louisiana? Yeah, what? they're from Louisiana. Hillside is just where I grew up at. The projects, the up top, man. Just shit. Hill, shit bad, bro. Shit really yeah. bad. Yo. Man, Um, one of the things that you told me, uh, you know, we were talking off camera. You were telling me about, like, the New Orleans scene, you know what I mean, and how you linked in. Um, exp- tell them some of the people that you done music with and, and you've been linked in with. When well, I don't, I don't linked up with TC. That's my homie. Shout out to that nigga right there, man. I done did music with Trina, GS Boys. Uh, hold on, we ain't just gonna skim over Trina now. <laughs> how, did, how did you link up with Trina? Say, we, had, we was uh, actually signed on a slip and slide. We had like a promotion deal or whatever. Shout out to my bro, man. My bro actually hooked it up through Trick Daddy. So shout out to that nigga, man. Okay. Yeah, and then, and then from there, um, y'all linked up and what, what music did they listen to from you that, that drew them in and was like, yeah, that's... that's. I want to say... <clears throat> Jig in a circle. We had a song called Jig in a Circle, Louisiana song. Like niggas asked to be jigging out their mind, popping pills. And that shit just took out, bro. Shit, 99.7 started playing that bitch. Shit, 100.1 to beat shot to DJ Star. They were fucking with it. And then we just traveled. I mean, we traveled around the world. That's what's up, man. And so, um, it was at that, at that time, were you living in New Orleans when that was going down? Now, at that time, shit, me and my people, we, we was actually living in Homer, Louisiana. My people have moved us up that way, so we've been up there for a little bit, and then I bounced around between here and Dallas. So I've been on this little scene as well. So, Man, uh, What is the difference but that you would say is between the New Orleans rap scene and the Dallas rap, Dallas-Fort Worth rap scene? Because it seemed like New Orleans at one point was cranking them out left and right, and right now Louisiana as a whole is just cranking out artists left and right, big-name artists. I mean, New Orleans-wise and Homer Louisiana-wise, it's just like, Niggas really rapping what they live, bro. Niggas really just, they, they grimy, slimy too. Niggas set your ass up. They'll get a bitch to knock your ass off, for real. And I feel like Dallas, I feel like when I moved, when I was moving around, they was on that boogie scene. They were more like dancing. Like, I don't think Louisiana never changed they, they style of rap, even to this day. We still kind of rap that gutter shit. For as like Texas scene, it's more like the dance shit. I ain't gonna say they ain't got no gangster niggas around this bitch, but from what I seen, it's just that boogie movement. I, I think when I came, it was that Dougie shit. Yeah, that Dougie shit. That Dougie shit took over. Man, that shit, that shit was going crazy. Um, from your side of New Orleans, um, who was some of the like the rap legends that you grew up under? Like for us in North Dallas, it was Boosie Lucci. You know what I'm saying? Boosie, the only legend. Boosie. Only legend? Boosie. So y'all don't fuck with Webby? Boost. Web, Webber that nigga too though. Webby, yeah. but but Booster, man. I yeah. mean, Webby, Webby shit, he go hard as fuck, but Boost is still that nigga, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up, man. All right, so let's get into some of your some of your music, man. Um <clears throat> on Let Me Run It. Yeah. And um message to my brother Shooter, man. You you went into to pretty detail about, you know, a situation that happened with you and your brother getting shot. Which you also let me know led to you getting that deal expired. Um, can you can you touch on that at all? Yeah, that was back in. D- matter of fact, that was on Christmas, man, 2013. On Christmas? Yeah, we had a show. We had a show in I want to say Rayville, Louisiana. If I'm not correct, my big bro probably gonna come and honor this bitch. Shout out to Ivor. Shout out to C J. He probably gonna come and honor it. But we went to do a show, and these niggas asked us to set us up, bro. Like, I mean, soon as we walked in the club, niggas start jumping our ass, and then shit. Everything else ham, I mean. Niggas start shooting and shit. Yeah. Man, that shit was just bad, bro. Like, to this day, man. If I ever catch that nigga, bro, it's up. You better believe that shit, nigga. It's fucking up. Like, no hesitation. But, I mean, when my big bro got shot, that shit hurt the count, bro. It really hurt the movement. Because we were pushing Bitch You Better Work, which was blowing up in North Louisiana and slowly started creeping back down south. So, I mean, that shit hurt, bro. Yeah, and then um, you also said that... um. When he got shot, that ended up voiding the contract. How did that feel 
to have a record, uh, couple deals on the table get pulled away from me. I mean, that's how we ate, man. Shit, that's, that's like if you got a family and you get fired from your job or some shit, I mean, that shit hurt. It still hurt. To this day, I look at my big bro and I be like, man, I wish that nigga was up because a lot of that shit that, that, that slid wouldn't be sliding, you know what I'm saying? Nigga really get, get dealt with. So right. it's through the grace of him, man, that nigga really had to get level here because I got to move different. I got to move smart because of that situation that, that set us up. Mm. So mm. nigga yeah. learned how not to be flashy on the cool. Right. For real, that shit will get your ass knocked off, nigga. So be yeah. careful who you showing that money around, nigga, because some niggas out here, even your own homies will set your ass up, boy. That's crazy. Um, one of the things um, that I like about you in your music, like some artists you can listen to and you won't get nothing out of their music as yeah. far as them personally. Like you won't know shit about them. They might make some good music, but you do make music to where I feel like I know more about you. Yeah. Uh, what, where, you know, where do you get that type of style of music from? You know what I'm saying? Is it important to you to share some of your stories? It sounds like you just live in what, what you rapping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I'm going to say I get that from Hillside, man, because couple OGs that I know from my from my side of town, they, they used to always tell us like that dancing shit cool, but tell your story, man. You got a story, like tell everything that happened to you, niggas gonna feel it. If they don't like it, then they just don't like it, but you like tell that shit. So yeah. that's what I've been doing, man. Like if you wanna learn anything about me, cause I know I'm gonna speak a lot. And my, I mean, my DJ will vouch for that. I know I'm gonna talk. So if you wanna learn something about me, just listen to my music. How did you and uh, your DJ link up? Man. <laughs> man. And, 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 yeah, go ahead. Let's, let's, let's get him on. Uh, the how, how did you link up with uh, my boy over here, Hillside? We was at this spot uh, in Addison, right? Uh, what was it? Uh, Red Room, I think it yeah, was back yeah, then. Yeah, that was yeah, it. That Red was Room, it. yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah you know what I'm and uh, a friend of mine that I went to college with, uh, she was like, oh, uh, I want you to meet, you know, you know, my, my uh, this dude, he an artist, you know, he he trying to, you know, he wants you to do some mixtapes with him and stuff like that. And I was like, you know, cool. All right, let's go. Let's what's up. So we meet <clears throat> and like, I could tell he was from uh, Louisiana immediately because his accent, I could tell you, I was like, all right. So he got some, you know, he probably got some bars. He's from Louisiana because they music is different. Like it's, yeah. you know, like you said, it's, it's something else. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we linked, you know, and he was ready to, you know, he had his songs already ready. And, you know, most artists, when you see them, they like, I want to do a mixtape. And they don't have nothing prepared. They don't even have an idea. But my man had it together. So I was like, all right, let's do this. You know what I mean? Let's do it. And, uh, you man. know, he sent me the tracks and I listened to him and I said, okay, okay. And then I heard some of the features and I said, okay, so my man working. I said, okay, yeah. okay, let's do this. And that's it. Ever since then, like we've been, we've been kicking shit. Like, I low key think I bought this nigga probably like six drinks, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like six yeah. drinks, bro. And I was like, yeah. fuck, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. I got on that nigga nerd the whole night. Like, play my shit. Like, yeah. you gotta play my shit. Play it. Yeah. What play was the song that he played? I think it was motherfucking. I think it was bitch you better work. Bitch you better work. Yeah, that's bitch, what, you better work. what he brought me. I, I brought I'm, I'm starting back to kind of push that hoe. Bitch you better work. And I think it was uh it was like some freestyle shit too. I forgot the name of that bitch. It was out that meat meal beat. Oh that yeah, I, I seen that I seen that one. It yeah. was out that hoe right there. Yeah. So. Um you know, you, it's funny that you said you put you you back to pushing it. Um in this day and age, it seems like artists they drop a song and then it's on to the next. They don't actually sit and take the time to push a yeah. single. Um, what is your strategy now in the, in the new in the new age? You know what I'm saying? Because well, it's very different. I kind I kind of I kind of feel like mistakes are just like a waste, and I ain't gonna say a waste, a complete waste, but I feel like a waste when you can do that single, shoot a video, push it, put it on all the sites, and make your money that way. I right. mean, push that single as long as you can, bro. I would say a good year, even though a lot of people would probably go a month, two months. But I would say a good year and then drop another single. I mean, keep feeding to them as singles. Before you know it, shit, you probably have your whole fucking album that's singing, then drop the album. Yeah. Get into them that way. Make more money. Yeah. Um, Hillside Mafia mixtape. Um, the mixtape that you uh, debuted on iTunes. Yeah, Go shout out DJ that. E Dub too. <clears throat> Go get that. Um, you said you felt like that was slept on. Why do you think it was slept on? Because I've been away from the scene too fucking long, man. I've been worrying about my big bro. So. I mean, I wasn't able to push it how I want to push it because everything stopped. When he got hit, everything stopped. Like, yeah. the whole count, one pushing, we were just too busy worrying about the fam. So, yeah. 
Man, um, so now that you're back active, how long have you been back active? Man, I'm gonna say probably like a month or two. A month okay. or two. I mean, I don't draw probably. I got I got four videos, bro. So how long were you inactive? Before Man, that? shit, about <laughs> three, three, four years, bro. Oh, okay. So Damn. it, it kind of yeah. taking me a while to transition. Cause I see now it is it's more of like you gotta have a fucking catchy hook. Nice beat. It's more dance shit now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Game. It's, it's like if you can't game. make the motherfucking club dance, then shit, you gotta go back to the lab. But see, I'm gonna tell you where I think it's different. I think it's different because now more people are getting opportunities to make the music that they truly can make and, and, and build a fan base. Because before, like let's just say the Dallas Boogie movement, had yeah. we had Spotify and iTunes, that shit would have been it way bigger. It would took out. It would took out. Yeah. Even, feel, even the Houston chopped and screw movement would have been way that, bigger. Like, even, even when Dallas had that movement, I feel like they didn't stick together on it. Right. It could have blew up even even right. bigger. I just just like, really yeah, think about how exactly. many niggas that was going hard that had albums that you couldn't figure out where to get it from. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, if I, you didn't see them, you I mean, didn't, if you yeah, see if you none of their promotion team, yeah, you, yeah. you did not have a song. I mean, I mean <laughs> shit, look, I had my DJ. So if I yeah. feel like I need that song or I need to try to remix that song, shit, I holler at my DJ right here. Yeah. And he get the beat for me. Yeah. So that's what's up. You know, uh the only the, the smartest thing I saw in uh I get it, I, I give my man credit, T Wayne. Uh back when uh the is he, South Dallas is he from swag, here? uh I think yeah, T Wayne is from okay. Dallas, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think he's, from, is he, he's in the out, new little running video, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When that South Dallas Swag came out back when he dropped it, he was in uh Padre. We was out in Padre. And I seen his whole promotion team, uh, like the the bridge to get across the water to the island. It was traffic every every day, every single day. It was it was parking lot. You know what I mean? And his promotion team every single day walked that entire bridge and passed oh, out so, CDs. Say shout out to T Wayne too. I got yeah, him on my I got him on my bitch. You better work uh remix. remix. So yeah, they did shout, that. Shout out that nigga too. By the much. time we got to the island, everybody was playing the same song. Yeah, I was like, dog, that was genius. You kind of come from the, you was making music in kind of the era of when Dallas was kind of really popping as far as even on the boogie movement. Yeah. Um, Matter of fact, I boogie think. Boogie movement versus, I, oh, go ahead. I think when I was when I was doing it, when me and my group was like heading back this way popping, I mean, when the first time I think Rashida Bubblegum dropped. Yeah. That's how long it been since a nigga really been grinding, bro. <laughs> like, so, like, for real. So with that being said, were you out, when, what, uh, what, what time frame did you move to Arlington? I moved to Arlington probably like three, four years ago, but I, but like I want to say, but I, but I was traveling back and forth. Okay. Like I'm still traveling back and forth. Okay. So, because I was gonna say, I know Arlington had a crazy um a scene when it came to rap, you know, like performing yeah. and shit, like and people coming through and partying and shit like that. So I was gonna say, did you get to catch that wave at all? I mean, I was <clears> catching <throat> party wave, but sh first I shout out to Alpha Phi Alpha. That's my uh, fraternity, by the way. So I was plugged in with my alpha brother. So the music that I heard probably was at like a Greek party or something. Right. I don't host a lot of parties, man. Right. Perform and host. So where, where in Arlington um, do you go to break a song, to, you know what I'm saying, get your music to heard? You know MLB, what, I mean? uh, what is it? What is it? Brick House? I think that's the name of it. Yeah. Brick House. I'll be back over that way. And I also linked up with uh, DJ Dirty Ray. Okay. So shout that's, out to her. Shout no, out she, to uh, she squad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to uh, what's her name? Official Bianca. That we just did the interview for the after party. Uh, so uh, I've been uh, linking bonus. up with them. And I've been moving around through that way. Unless my DJ have event, we go that way. But sure. besides that, every type of Greek party that you can name, bro, I'm down. I'm proud of the whole song performing at that hole. Okay, that's what's up. So yeah, you see, said back active, back active. Yeah, I'm oh. using that Greek word to get me back up where I need to be. Yeah. Didn't believe. Um, is that the new? That's the new single that you're pushing right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That, I actually dropped that. I got that, and I got uh, what's that fucking song? Skirt ball. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that didn't believe single. How did you um come up with that? That because it sounded like one one of the lines you said. I went from peon to being a boss nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Say that didn't believe hit when a lot of people tell me what you gonna do when your bro got shot. What y'all gonna do? Like. Y'all not a clit no more. Like, you on your own, what you gonna do? How the promo gonna go? I used to always tell the nigga shit. It's still up. Like, ain't shit changed how he down, bro. Like, I still got I got miles on my team to feed. Right. So, if I ain't doing music, you better be on promo some. some somewhere we getting some money. Yeah. So, I felt like niggas was sleeping on us. They, they kept on sleeping because 
Like I say, my bro Don ain't heard from it, so I want to let these niggas know, like, we so bad, what, nigga. So was your brother, like, he was pretty much, like, he was the catalyst that made a lot of the things happen back then? Yeah, I'm, to be honest, yeah, my bro was the mouthpiece. Like, I never wanted to be a rapper, bro. Mm. He told me this the quickest way to get some money, so, I mean... Shout out to him, man. Our way, shout out to C. James. Shout out to Lil Savage, me and my little nephew. He coming soon, and that boy, hell, man. So, um, with that being said, do you have any uh, new projects or new uh, singles after this that you pushing? I got, got Scary Ball doing? that I'm about to drop, that I'm about to push. Hillside Mafia 3 on the way. I'm going to say probably like two more months. It's Chapter 3 The Way, boy. That's the name of it. And we're going Spinnerella Major. We're going iTunes, we gonna, I'm going to try to see can I get like five more videos out on working, man. Working. Working, working. on some Jay-Z shit. Um, man, that's what's up, man. So um, what are some of the places that you plan on touching on? Are you, do you plan on using your past experiences from five years ago? It seems like, like I said, you've been plugged in before. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, and things definitely have changed. So um, will your... Will you change with it? You know what I'm saying? As far yeah, as how you gonna right, move right around. Right now, that's the hardest part, bro. I gotta kinda create some shit for this generation, for this era of music. Because I am still kinda behind. So I feel like I'm catching up now. And when a nigga start to catch up, I can see it now. Niggas really fucking with me. Shout out to my Instagram followed by out on the waist. For real though. That's what's up, man. Um DJ, any uh any things that you got in the works that you got coming up? <clears throat> Uh, mixtapes, mixtapes, mixtapes. I'm uh, I'm working. I'm in the lab. I'm I'm getting mixes together. I'm getting uh, a lot together. I'm trying to do uh, my own radio show. I'm trying to do you know my own outlet so I can put my own mixes out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, get my own creative uh sound out there. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I'm working with some producers. I'm working with you know uh. This is secret, by the way. Uh, label Southern Republic. Look out. Be on the lookout. We, uh, you know what I mean. We, we coming soon with some, with some heat. You know what I mean. I'm trying to get my man supplied with some beats. You know what I mean. Some, some fire. So we, we finna, uh, we finna jump. Say, look put, out. Put some respect on my DJ name, man. My nigga ill look with out. Campy King DJs for real. Oh, you with Campy Put some fucking respect King, on my nigga DJ. name, man. Shout out, shout out Campy King. Shout out to uh, the homie Frosty, the homie Dude. For real, man. Put some respect yeah. on my son. Shout out to CKB, man. We can interview him. Label, we talking man. To yeah, the my nigga, label. man. For real. We, we, we doing it. Like, nigga, but we, respect we my DJ, that. man. South by Southwest, we coming too. Coming soon. A lot of artists respect the DJs, man. For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Money Dance, um, the song. Is there an actual <laughs> dance? Man, <laughs> I was, I was, I was, I was, I was like, this nigga talking about the dance. Say, what the say bro, <laughs> nigga really can't dance. We just pulled them bands out. For yeah, real. okay, yeah, for real, for real. Type shit. for real. Matter of fact, matter of fact, bro, I posted me call. I, I, I should have called my bro, bro. That nigga, that nigga be able to talk some shit about that song, bro. For real, guy. He he was telling me, man. He asked me, can I dance for real when I first made that bitch? <laughs> for real, for real. I was like, nah, I'm going to get the young niggas to dance. That's what bro. you should have did. You should have got one of the young niggas. You should have <laughs> Nigga been there. Like, like, uh, what's yeah. old boy name from? Uh, did you date Nikki? Uh, uh, Sari? Sari? What's the damn name? That nigga got that son, 100 on 100 on this. Oh, uh, I about, uh, Safari? <laughs> oh, yeah, Safari, I yeah. I should have been like that nigga <laughs> shit. Yeah. For real. For real, though. It like worked a lot though. Of young niggas be like, "Give me ten dollars, I'll make a dance yeah. Yeah, quickly." <laughs> yeah, yeah. For what real. is your PayPal link, little nigga? <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Nah, but uh, other than that, man, you got the new album. Uh, what you got a date on the um, the new album release? I'm or? gonna say probably like two months. I really been trying to hold out to June for my birthday because I'm yeah. planning on throwing like this big ass party. Yeah. So. Okay. That's what I'm really waiting on. Besides that, though, I got my little nephew moving his little single, and okay. I got other people in my account that I really need to get out, even though. I feel like it's it's my time right now, but I gotta push my niggas too. I gotta make sure everybody eat. Already, man. Already, man. Well, shit. Um, leave them with your social media information before we get about this thing. Say you already know who it is. Sagedu Way Hillside Way. You can follow me at S E G E D R I C one nine zero six. That's my Instagram, Twitter, shit, whatever else that you want to really follow me on. Yeah, me, uh, DJ Trev T420 on all of it. That's DJ T R E V T 420. Uh, what's that? Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. That's the whole nine. Like, hey, and if you want to book us, 214 504 8249. 214 504 8249. Nigga, low key, 
I get into that modeling shit too if you want to book a nigga for that <laughs> shit. For real though. For real. I gotta get I gotta get in so any type of way, bro. We travel. We coming to you. <laughs> we we coming to your city, man. Yeah, we'll rock your house. It yeah, ain't we'll nothing. Pop up real for real. It's your city at your kids' birthday. They doing all that. You know what <laughs> real what for real. I feel like I am a real live street star, nigga. What that nigga, whatever you say, nigga, I am BT, nigga. Yeah. Shit, I am I'm everything, nigga. For yeah. real. Well, man, that's what's good, man. Hey, Real Life Productions, Real Life Street Stars, we out this thing, man. <laughs> Shout out Real Life Street Stars, nigga. Move. Hey.